Welcome to this SOLIDWORKS tutorial guys. In this video we will learn how to create this shaft for the jet engine in SOLIDWORKS. So let's begin. Click on part and click OK. From here change the background to plain white. And make sure that you are working in MMGS. These are basically millimeters although you can work in inches as well. Select your front plane and click on sketch. From here select the midpoint line. And at this origin make a line like this. Now select this line and give it a horizontal relation and then check this box from here. Now select this smart dimensioning tool and select this line. Here specify the length of this line as 600 millimeters. Now select a line and from this corner make a straight vertical and horizontal lines. Now let's specify the height of this line as 20 millimeter and the length of this horizontal line as 100 millimeter now select a line and here create a vertical and an inclined line then a horizontal straight line then vertical then horizontal and then this vertical line and again a horizontal line now press escape button and let's specify the height of this line I'm specifying as 30 millimeter select these two lines the inclined and the vertical and here specify the angle between them as 70 degree now select smart dimensioning tool from this point to this line and here specify the length as 80 millimeter the length of this line 60 millimeter now press escape button select this origin point and the midpoint of this line which is yellow dot and here assign vertical relation make sure that you have con press control button while selecting these two points and here specify the horizontal relation for these two lines now make this inclined a horizontal and inclined downward and then complete the sketch like this now let's specify the dimension for these the height of this line is 20 millimeter and the length of this horizontal straight line is 30 millimeter and uh, the angle between these two lines is 135 degree and similar for the other one this one and this one 135 degree okay and after that from here select this center line from this point to here any point in space make a horizontal straight line now press the control button select these two lines and assign this collinear relation so that these lines can get collinear now let's specify the height of this line I'm specifying as 12 millimeter and as you can see the height of other line is adjusted because we have assigned the collinear relation we do not need to assign the dimension for this line and now specify the length of this line as 75 millimeter and specify the length of this line as 100 as you can see the height of other lines has been changed so select this line and delete it now press escape button hold control key from your keyboard select these two lines and make relation as collinear and now as you can see from here the sketch is fully defined which is always advisable go to features and here select this revolt boss base and in this window axis of revolution here select this horizontal straight line and check the box and now we need to create the wings only uh, before that I'm assigning this appearance this is optional by the way so now let's create uh, the wing for that select your top plane and click on sketch from here select the center line and from this point to this point make a straight center line and after that select this spline from here and make a spline like this you can adjust it it, it is always advisable to assign dimensions but I am just 
uh, making it an approximate uh, shape of the wing so let's mirror the same thing on the other side like this and check the box from here now exit the sketch we have to make another sketch but before that we need to create a plane so in reference geometry select airplane in this first reference here select the top plane and here specify the offset distance which is 100 millimeter this is basically the offset distance now check the box select this newly created plane and click on sketch and select here spline and we need to create a spline from this point this point and here in this point in space make a spline like this and now let's create another one like this you can adjust the shape of it you can assign dimension which is advisable I'm just giving it an approximate shape okay and now exit the sketch from here and now we need to hide this plane go to sketch tab and here select 3d sketch select spline again from this point of the previously created sketch to this point here create a guide curve like this and similar to the other side as well other corners of the splines as we have to make a shape of the wing so this should be a little bit tilted outward a very little tilt to create the shape of a fan a fan wing basically now go to features and here select lofted boss space we have two windows this is first profiles we need to select this sketch and this sketch and then we have the second window which is the guided curve this one we need to select these two curves uh, here so we need to select this green check mark and again green check mark and after that check the box from here and the wing has been created but this is one wing we need to create 25 for that select your circular pattern command in direction one we need to specify this circular edge and here specify 25 for the parameter make sure that you have selected equal spacing and in this window we need to select the first wing and check the box from here as you can see 25 wings have been created so that's how we make a shaft for this jet engine in solidworks thanks for watching guys